can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you Welcome back guys, welcome back to the show, welcome back to another video and in today's video uh, we're taking the i8 and the 435 on their first car meet. I don't normally go to car meets guys, I typically don't, but there's this huge car meet going on here in Sacramento from Diamond Auto Sports I believe and um, it's pretty. they're pretty well known in the area. There's a lot of super cars and a lot of nice exotic cars and I'm going to be taking uh, you know, the 435 and the i8 down there, I think it'll be kind of fun and I, I announced it on Instagram so for those of you guys following me on Instagram you guys know that I'm going to this meet. And I might be meeting some of you guys. We'll see. We'll see. So anyway, we're just gonna stop by Taco Bell real quick, get an iced coffee because my eyes are red as baloney schmoney, and then uh, probably just uh, get a small little egg and cheese burrito because again, yo man, it's just too early and he needs some energy. But oh, buddy, I'm super excited to see a whole bunch of exotic cars in this area, guys. You don't see much exotic cars. So I'm pretty excited about this. And it turns out Taco Bell is closed, so we can't get a burrito or an iced coffee. Do you want to head over to McDonald's and just get a small iced coffee? Or you want to just head out? Yeah, get over. All right, get a small ice. If you want to get like a little egg and cheese sandwich as well, we'll probably just eat it there, honestly. All right, guys, let's see if we can get an egg and cheese sandwich and uh, a coffee. It's much, it's much needed. Uh, what can I get for you? How much is just an egg and cheese sandwich? Um, which one? Uh, like, do you guys have anything without sausage? Um, everything has meat. So if you want, just like egg and like, is it the round egg or the folded egg? Uh, it doesn't matter. So if you want just regular egg and cheese with a McMuff with a muffin, it's gonna be three ninety nine. Cause we charge you for a regular egg McMuffin. Um. All right then. Can I just get an iced coffee, a medium one? What flavor? Uh, French vanilla. Okay, so medium vanilla iced coffee is two sixteen, please. Cool. Thank you. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard that, but all they have here is sausage, and I can't eat sausage. So. That being said, we just went ahead and get an iced coffee. I'm actually not in the mood to just drink something, so I'm gonna hold off on this till we get to the meat. Uh, but yeah, here's my brother right here. I'm pretty sure he's just as upset as I am because we were looking for we were looking forward to some egg sandwiches, but I know it sucks that we can't like they have sausage on everything. They're basically taking out the meat, but you're paying for the meat. Um, Anyhow, I'm not a cheap guy, but I mean, knowing that, I can't do it. So that being said. God, GT2 RS, wait, what? oh my god, <laughs> oh my god, guys, check out the cars, and of course the Dream R8, they're all here, the whole gang, dang, this is the gang right here, guys, <laughs> oh my god. I've never seen so many supercars next to each other in my life. Where they drive like crazy, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna drive as crazy as them. Uh, I'm guessing it's right over here somewhere, so I don't know what kind of Ferrari this is, but it looks good, not gonna lie. Your man is the type of man that's never been to like an exotic car meet, so I probably don't know much exotic cars. I only know like McLarens, Lamborghinis, and that's about it. I don't know anything about Ferraris or any other exotics, so. Oh my God, there's even a McLaren 570S behind us. That is super sick, oh my God. Check out the lineup of cars, <laughs> oh my God. What's going on, good, good. Uh, Lobby Park right next to the silver portion. Silver Porsche? Okay. All right, guys, I'm parking next to the GT2 or GT3. Oh, my Lord. Let's get it, guys. I just pulled up, made my brother go all the way back there. I don't know what happened, so we'll figure that out in a second. Dang, this is my girl's dream car right here. <laughs> I'm trying to see my brother gets the park, so waiting on him right now. Check out the cars, guys. Is this big or what? <laughs> Bro, look at the cars, dude. That's crazy. Oh my god, guys. Bro, what? Like, what? This is a GT3 RS. Super sick. Love the color spec. That's my Frenzy 92 M3, which is super sick. Hey. <laughs> oh my god. I thought that was my brother's first car for a second day. Dang. Okay, well, I mean, it's all right. 435 is fully aired out. Let's head out. All right, was this better than you thought? It's, a little bit <laughs> it's not what we expected for NorCal car meets, guys. Oh my god. There's so many dream cars here, honestly. It's sick. I got a boy right here that drove out six hours. This is six hours. What time did you leave? 1 a.m. 1 a.m. <laughs> Whoa, you're the man. Hold up. Give a fist bump. Shout out to my guy. Have you seen the cars? No, not yet. All right, well, the first one's over there. I don't know if you saw it. The 435. Well, it's 100% it's stock right now. Yeah. But you know, it's not gonna stay stock forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god, bro. It's right next to my other dream car. <laughs> it's, it's right next to my other dream car. Perfectly specced out. 
Audi R8. I don't know if it's a manual, not a manual, but it's my favorite, favorite spec. It's the black on carbon. Oh my God. Guys, check that out. Rear engine. Oh my God. Guy, I cannot get over this. Bro, it looks so good. Look at the paint. <laughs> Another one. Alright guys, amazing meat, but we're about to head out. We're honestly starving at this point. And guys, it got so dirty so quickly. I don't know what my brother ran over to be honest. Alright guys, we're heading out. We got Jacob Bardotti right here too. What's shaking, bacon? I'm heading out. Yeah. Alright guys, so we are leaving the car meet right now. We did leave a little bit early. I did get to meet some of you guys, which is pretty awesome. One of you guys actually drove out here six hours, so huge shout out to him. But now, uh, I think it's time to get something to eat, honestly. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hungry. I'm pretty sure my brother's hungry. Let's go find some place to eat. Then we just landed at Burger King. We're about to get some of these egg cheese sandwiches. Yes, I bought two and I'm getting one free just because Burger King has the offer. Of course, I'm just getting the egg and cheese, no bacon, no sausage. You guys know me. Without further ado, <laughs> it's not an install video. <laughs> Give me my sandwiches. <laughs> and enjoy my croissant and cut back to you guys in a little bit. Our lawn from the Sacramento International Airport. He's currently visiting from Texas, so uh, trying to pick up my boys, see him for the first time, show him the car. He's super excited to see it, and I'm super excited to see him. So, without further ado, catch you guys as soon as we uh, as soon as we get there. Just made it down here. The airport is super windy. We're just waiting on our line. I don't know where he's at, but I guess we'll find him. <laughs> you <need> a hand? <laughs> Look how big that thing is. <laughs> okay, hold up. We might have to put it in the rear seats or something. All right, guys. So we just picked up our lawn. Welcome back to, you know, California. <laughs> Dude, guys. Look what he, first thing he brings with him. <laughs> is it a car part? It's, yeah, it's a, it's a N54 turbo kit. N54. <laughs> And then he has like a manifold in the trunk. Like, I, <laughs> what are you doing, dude? Okay, we're about to head out of here. The airport's always confusing. So we'll figure this out. Then we'll come back to you guys in a little bit. All right, guys. Now I did have an egg sandwich for breakfast, but we have to go to Chipotle. <laughs> Our line hasn't been in Chipotle for a little bit and we got to eat before we drop them off. So, uh, yeah, I get, I, it's just proper, you know? 
Guys, we got the Chipotle. It's only tradition. It's only right with the boy. We got the burrito though. All right, guys, so we just swung around the house. He still has all his stuff in the car, but I told him if he could just do me a small favor while he's here, because he's the N54 genius, and just in terms of BMWs and all that stuff. So I had an issue with my car. I took it on a showman, and we had a boost issue. Showman got it, went ahead and fixed that for us. It was uh, something to do with my install of the downpipe. So yeah, when we took it down to showman, it wasn't boosting at all. It had like zero boost, and it was the re it was the way I installed the downpipe. It's not the downpipe itself. It's the way I installed the downpipe. Basically, the clamp was put in a way that prevented the wastegate from like fully opening or fully closing Close. closing so because of that i was basically not having any boost and uh since he pretty much replaced it with the stock cat he moved the clamp where he needed to go now the the waste gate's opening and closing just fine so we have proper boost but we still have a stupid really weird whistling sound every time i drive the car and i did this it ha started happening after i think it was either the intercooler or the uh, i never even put it, i never thought about the exhaust i thought it was either the intercooler or the down pipes turns out it's not the intercooler intercooler is good down pipes were because of boost issues. And then our lawn found out the whistling sound came from the exhaust. So basically, he just went ahead and revved it a few times, he ripped it, and he's like, dude, this sound is not coming from the front. And I'm like, the thing is with me, I don't think people know this. I can't distinguish sound where it's coming from. I'm a little bit weird. But it, but it did come, it does sound like from the front. Yeah, when you're driving Because first I said wastegate. Yeah. But then I realized it was coming from the right front. Yeah. Right? That's yeah, what yeah. it sounds like it's coming from. Yeah, right? exactly. From the right front, and I was, like, I was like, oh, that sounds stupid. It's the wastegate. <laughs> Exactly. But then once he went outside, I gave it a few reps. He's like, I'm not hearing it from the front. Did you hear it? I was like, yeah. I started revving it again and he was behind me this time and he heard it from the exhaust. So now it's something to do with the exhaust. I'm gonna take it out of the shop. I'm gonna see if they can plug up one side or they're gonna have to reroute the exhaust properly this time. I don't know what they did. Um, we'll go ahead and figure that out. Anywho, that's hopefully gonna get fixed. We're also gonna be doing the, the what's it called? The valve cover probably tomorrow. So the valve cover and everything. So this in terms of the car, it's gonna be perfect. Hopefully tomorrow. Um, <laughs> him in his natural habitat. Shout out to Erlon for already fixing my baby. But now I think it's time. We're gonna have to take him back. You know, he's already served his purpose here. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go and take him back home. All right, guys. So we just dropped off Erlon at his house. So we are officially heading home. It's been a little bit of a, a long day, honestly. I cannot believe how so much has been done. It's only 5 o'clock. When you wake up early, it is so much done. It's crazy. I typically like sleeping super late and waking up like around maybe 10. It's typically the time I like to wake up and I like sleeping as late as maybe even 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock. So that's me. But waking up today this early literally made me feel very productive. So maybe that's something I should do. Anywho, guys, if you enjoyed today's vlog, I'm pretty much going to conclude it right here. Tomorrow, I'm going to have to get some rest because tomorrow is going to be a very big day doing the valve cover on the 135. It's the absolute last maintenance piece that's needed on this car to look perfected, which is absolutely insane that this car is going to to literally have all the maintenance done for the next owner which is crazy but yeah guys we're going to work on the valve cover tomorrow we also have to figure out the, what's going on with that exhaust it was definitely the exhaust making that stupid whistling sound i i literally thought it was something else that i did wrong it turns out it was the exhaust thank the lord it's not me i'm so happy hopefully we get that done and fixed up and then literally the 135 is gonna be an absolute perfect little car anyway guys i love y'all so much if you guys want to cop some merch to support your boy, make sure to check out that link down below. And if you guys want to purchase anything that's off the one, the 135, I took off a few mods. I've literally almost sold everything. I just have like two things left. So if you guys want to cop that, they're heavily discounted. Link down below. If you guys need some mods for your car, for the low, check it out. Without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go. I ain't the first with the curse, with the thirst that I wanna be better, not worse, man, it hurts. I'm on this earth with my words, and I put them all together in cert, cause I wanna have